Next up, let's talk about dilution. The dilution process is as simple as taking something and adding water to it. And an example from everyday life would be if you've ever, and I've done this, taken uh, orange juice concentrate, frozen orange juice concentrate, and, uh, and diluted it, added water to it. It's usually one can of orange juice to three uh, cans, filled cans of water. And if you've ever tasted the stuff, the orange juice concentrate, you know it tastes super orangey very concentrated, and uh, then you dilute it, you mix it up, everything melts and everything's good, and it tastes just like orange juice. Well, the key component for dilution, as far as chemistry is concerned, is that the amount of orange stuff stays the same before and after dilution. And when we do dilution in chemistry classes, the amount of moles of stuff, the, stick, the chemistry stuff, stays the same as well. So uh, now let's turn to our notes. Dilution, it all it is is adding water to a more concentrated solution to create a more dilute solution while keeping the moles of solute constant. Quantitatively, the dilution formula is M1V1 equals M2V2, where M, capital M stands for molarity and capital V stands for volume. There's another version, which is more general, which says C1V1 equals C2V2. There are other concentration units, although principally we're going to be sticking with molarity. For the subscripts 1, the way that I like to keep things uh, simple for me and keep track of things is that the 1s stand for the more concentrated solution. while the twos stand for the more dilute solution. Not that the math cares, you can do it either way, but that helps me keep it organized. Now for number two, preparing 3.00 liters of a 0 0.500 molar calcium chloride solution from 10.0 molarity calcium chloride solution. We're gonna take the uh, M1V1 equals M2V2 formula we see that of the two molarities, 0.5 molar is more dilute, less concentrated. That's going to be my M2. I'm going to fill my M2 and V2 over here. And my M1 is going to be 10.0 molarity calcium chloride. We don't know our V1. like so, and then rearranging and solving for the volume of our initial component, 0.5 times 3 divided by 10, 0 0.15, adding a third significant figure because we always like to have three significant figures for lecture, lab, or not lab, discussion uh, or recitation work and uh, exams and quizzes. So there we go. And we've got a little picture of this process, how we might do it. You're gonna take 0 0.150 liters of the 10.0 molar stock solution, more concentrated solution, pour it into a three liter volumetric flask, uh, add water, and then of course you're going to mix it as well. Um, so that's a little bit about the process of dilution. I want to emphasize this point. When diluting, concentration decreases, but what, uh, but what about the total number of moles of solute? The total moles of solute stays the same. The total moles of solute stays the same. And that's illustrated in this picture right here. We st uh, and if we do the M1 times the V1, since molarity is moles per liter and volume is liters, so you can cancel units to show that the uh, leftover units are moles on the left side and moles on the right side, and you can further show, just in this, as in this picture, that the moles are the same. Moles stay the same through dilution. Uh, molarity or concentration decreases. 
typical problem uh, for dilution will have the word dilution in it, or diluting in this case. What is the concentration, concentration of a solution prepared by diluting 45 milliliters of, which means multiply, 8.25 molarity nitric acid to 135 milliliters? My smaller volume will always be my more concentrated solution. So, and of tells me that uh, these two numbers go together. Uh, another good point is that when you're using the, the dilution formula, that as long as the volume units are the same, you can use liters or milliliters or other units, although liters and milliliters are almost exclusively what we use. Uh, so we're going to use milliliters when we use the formula this time. and solve for M2, our more diluted concentration. And you can see the units are gonna cancel out. We're gonna be left with units of molarity. Let's see, take these two numbers, divide them by 135, so 8.25 times 45 divided by 135. I get 2.75 molarity nitric acid. And uh, this problem, problem number five, is a companion problem. So look for its answer uh, within the course learning management system.